All right, so we are going to make a pulsating effect here using a sine wave function. Now I'm taking a logo. I want this logo to expand and contract like it. I want a pulsating effect. We can achieve this using various keyframes uh, given in time. So for a certain amount of time, we want it to expand and another certain amount of time, we want it to contract. So we can use multiple keyframes to make it. The program interpolates the scaling points between the given keyframes, which is also called as in-betweening. Well, initially the animation program uses linear interpolation, which means the contraction and expansion rate is constant. That is, the scaling up and scaling down rate is not changing. But we can make it a bit smoother by using polynomial interpolation instead of linear interpolation. As you see, the animation is not as smooth as we need it and definitely not consistent. So instead of using various keyframes to make the animation, let us simulate the pulsating effect by using a mathematical function that we studied in our high school. First off, let's break down this effect on a xy graph where our x denotes the time and y denotes the level of scaling. Alright, so what do we need here? We need scaling of the logo increase and decrease with time smoothly. This should ring a bell by now that the function we are looking for is nothing but a sine wave function. So here I am defining a sine function for scaling which takes time as input and outputs the amount of scaling. So here I programmed it but the effect is not visible as the amplitude is quite small. I am increasing the amplitude of this sine wave function by multiplying the function with a 40. Now we can see the simulation on a beautiful smooth sine wave. But we are not done yet. Remember that the minimum value of a sine function is minus 1 whereas the maximum value is 1. As there is negative numbers being spit out here, there is negative scaling which means the logo is being inverted and we do not want that. There is another function that comes into rescue here which is called absolute value function. So if you remember this function makes everything positive. So I am making another function which is a composition of sine wave function and absolute value function which only gives us the positive values which is what we needed. Now you can see the graph is outputting only positive values which is the reason the logo is not being inverted anymore. 